Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary functions. In this question, we notice the number of arbitrary functions present are 2. Those are the function f and g. So, to eliminate the arbitrary function, we are going to use dou z by dou x which is taken as p, dou z by dou y which is taken as q, dou square z by dou x square which is taken as r, then dou square z by dou x dou y which is taken as s and dou square z by dou y square which is taken as t to eliminate the arbitrary functions. Let's take the first expression and we are going to differentiate this first expression partially partially with respect to x. So this becomes dou z by dou x equal to f derivative is f dash of 2x plus 3y and as per the chain rule it will be into 2 and here y is treated as a constant so y is kept as it is and g derivative is g dash of 2x plus 3y into 2. Now let's name this as the second one and we again take the first expression differentiate this first expression partially with respect to y. So z will be dou z by dou y and the f derivative is f dash of 2x plus 3y as per the chain rule into 3 and here we have to perform the product rule because we have product of two terms. So y is written as it is and g derivation is derivatives g dash of 2x plus 3y into 3 plus g is kept as it is g of 2x plus 3y and y differentiation is 1. Let's keep this as the third expression. Now from these two we find some similar terms that is when 2 is taken common we get f dash of 2x plus 3y plus y into g dash of 2x plus 3y in the same way when 3 is taken common we get the similar term. So we are going to substitute 2 in 3 substituting 2 substituting 2 in 3. So the third expression will become dou z by dou y equal to when 3 is taken common we get this term but while substitution here, we can make it as 1 by 2 into dou z by dou x. That is, I have taken 2 common from this and it is written in this place. So, half of dou z by dou x is f dash of 2x plus 3y into y into g dash of 2x plus 3y. And now the bracket closed and the last term present is plus g of 2x plus 3y. This is our fourth expression. But even here it is better to take this term to the other side and name it as a fourth expression. So the first term will be as usual dou z by dou y minus 3 by 2 into dou z by dou x equal to g of 2x plus 3y. So this is our fourth expression. We are going to take this fourth expression and uh, differentiate this fourth expression partially with respect to x. So this will be dou square z by dou x dou y. Then the second term is minus 3 by 2 into dou square z by dou x square. And on the other side it is g dash of 2x plus 3y into 2. Let's keep this as a fifth expression. In the same way, we take the fourth expression again, differentiate that partially 
with respect to y. Now this becomes dou z by dou y square minus 3 by 2 dou square z by dou y dou x equal to g dash of 2x plus 3y into 3. This is our sixth expression. Now we are going to divide the fifth expression by sixth expression and the first term this can be written as s minus 3 by 2 into r whole divided by this is t minus 3 by 2 into s and here while dividing these two terms gets cancelled so we left with 2 by 3 now we are going to cross multiply this entire term is multiplied by 3 so this is 3s minus 9r by 2 equal to let's multiply this entire term with 2 so 2t minus 3s now bringing every term to one side let's take this to the other side so 9r by 2 and if i take this to the other side already there is a minus 3s now it will become minus 6s and plus 2t equal to 0. Let's take LCM. This becomes the LCM is 2. So 9R minus 6S plus 2T equal to 0. Now by cross multiplying we get 9R minus sorry this becomes 12S and this become 4T. So 9R minus 12s plus 4t equal to 0. So this is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary functions.